Man, these bitches look at her. Look how they thirst. Being poppin', it's a curse. Your man wanna look at my skirt first. I'll make him fill up my purse. 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 I know that you feel uncomfortable. Don't worry about me, boo. You should know what them Javachi shoes. Now you see what that Punani do. He don't follow me on Snapchat. Are you mad? Two verified people. No, 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 Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl I do the train. You know the vibes already. And today I'm back with my favorite Nella Rose. Marisa. And today <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're gonna be talking about men, guys, yes. boys, whatever. So today, guys, we're gonna be talking about the most toxic things guys have ever said to us. Like, I know it's gonna be a bit funny, but some of some of the things I feel like we're gonna talk about is like it's mentally abusive. It, like, it, it's it's like how, yeah. niggas ain't Mentally. shit. Say it with your chest. Yeah, uh, what you said, niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Ain't shit. Like, can I start before I lose my point? What's your first point? So I was in a relationship with a guy, yeah. Yeah. And obviously, as you guys know, like, I've always had, like, a lot of male friends. Simply because back in the day, I was a tomboy. And then I grew up and I became really, really feminine. But I've always still, like, fucked with a lot of guys because. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like, my boys are my boys, do you know what I mean? I don't even have to justify it. My friends are my friends, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I'm in a relationship with this nigga. Okay. I'm in a relationship with this nigga. Okay. And he's Wacky. like, and, and he knows that, I, he knew that I had a lot of male friends because all of his friends that we had in common were boys. So all of our like mutual friends were like boys and stuff or whatever. So I'm gonna tell you guys two scenarios. The first scenario was obviously back in the day I wasn't really like I did I wasn't really in touch with like my feminine side like now. Ever since I discovered stripper culture, I've become a who is she? Where did you find her? Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? <laughs> back in the day it was like if he was dating me you're actually just dating a boy because at this rate so whenever my boyfriend would come over i would never be like oh my god why's your ring oh my god let me okay, yeah. i'd be like yeah what's going on so whatever so then one time you guys know whenever i'm doing my makeup it's either you know oversized t-shirt or a robe yeah yeah or sometimes so naked it's, oh. most <laughs> of the time so basically one time i was in a robe yeah and then i was doing my makeup and then my friends came over because we needed to film or whatever they left i changed back into my robe so he saw and snapped that i was with my friends boys and then he came he came to the house and he was just like what but you don't wear that robe for me so what 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 i said so you think i'm wearing robe for niggers for niggers baby i don't do that stuff for you because you don't deserve it tell him <laughs> no, but, oh, yes. no but still but still i'm in a robe because it's like Everyone gets rid of your robes. Exactly. So you're basically trying to say like, what exactly. so say, like, well, you don't wear a robe for me, but you yeah. wear a robe for the man them. And it's like, first of all, <gasps> I'm doing my make. Yeah, like it's a robe. Like, like you know when you just come out of the shower, you're getting ready. You wear a robe. Wait, 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 wait. What's the robe? Okay, there's two types. And then of even robes. okay, yeah, 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 ye
Mm. What guys? Platonic friendships because I don't have no platonic friendships. You don't! I do! I do! I do! I do! Let's only go for your following! Every male! Right! No, I do, but it's just that I don't know if I can have that. No, but that was toxic. That's very toxic. But I feel like I would also kind of slightly be toxic in that situation too. Really? What? Should I tell you what I find? No, wait, can I quickly say my... Oh, do yours, do yours. This is your video, sis. Speak. So basically, one toxic um, thing a guy did to me was he done something wrong in the situation, and I was gonna leave the situation. And we had met up to talk, well, kind of forcefully met up to talk. Mm. And then I was like, okay, cool, I'm done. And he was basically like, how he's gonna end his life. But how he, so we was in our hotel because like I don't know, I ended up in this hotel in it to talk. And then what he would do is like. When I'm sleeping, but I feel like he knew I wasn't really sleeping because mm. I'm trying to cut in the morning because you you fucked up basically. And then he would like sneak from the bed and then go to sit on the window, like go to sit on the window ledge like he's gonna jump. So I'll get up like, what's this guy about to do? And then he's like open. It was one of those windows that can really open like this mm. in the hotel. And he was be like, I just can't do it anymore and all that shit. And I'm just like, come from the ledge, man, come. But obviously at the mm. time I genuinely thought he was gonna do it, but knowing what I know now. You knew what you he were was doing. Just trying to do yeah. it. You know what I mean? That's, that's really, that's mad. That's, that's so manipulative. Mad. That's what I'm that's saying. Evil. F'd up shit. Like, that's not even, I feel like loads of people like to like boast that like, oh, I'm so toxic, but I feel like there's toxic kind of, there's, there's like evil. Yeah. Evil, there's evil, evil, that's evil. That's mad. kind of thing. So basically, I've been through so many, but I'll do the second one. So one time I was going to leave a situation again, and I was like, yo, I'm done, whatever. And then he told me that he's dying, he's got some sort of cancer, whatever. What? That what, he what's just your, found out. your game must be mad because these boys are acting like they're legit, yeah, not living without you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because they, I they know can. that. Is it Jill? I want your love, Party. It's not <laughs> it, was like, it was like, it was like, I felt like shit. I'm so like, because yeah. imagine genuinely believing that, do that. Yeah. and yeah. then it's actually bullshit. And then you feel like yeah. I can't leave him because he's not meant yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. and that's then it's like, no. And I feel like a lot of, not a lot of people. I feel like girls sometimes do it as well. But yeah. it's like that's so effed up. And if you're doing that, like, you're mm. fucked up. And you're you very need to, like, fucked. Y'all know I've had a toxic relationship. Like I'm, it was very toxic. Not, no, you know what? It was toxic, it was but I didn't know it was toxic. I didn't know it was toxic until, until, when, left. until I left. That's so, how it and that's happens. what's so mad that when we're in relationships, yeah, we feel like, it. you know, I love him. Mm. He's going through something. So basically, with my with a partner of mine that was my ex, one thing that I thought that was very very toxic was like every he would always make me feel like I was the problem. But instead, so what they do? This let me tell you what these guys do. Yeah, it gets me mad. They they will find they'll nitpick at everything you do to make them feel better for the fact that they've been cheating or they've been doing madness. So then you feel bad like I'm a shit girlfriend. I don't do no, I don't do this. I need to up my game. And what, it what was happened, my fault. It was your fault. What happens? You start to think of things to improve. Like improve. Let it. me tell you an example of what I did. There was a time when I was in a relationship where I felt so distant with my partner. Yeah, where I was like, what can oh, I? Yeah, so yeah. I'm thinking, okay, I know he's a homie guy. Let me yeah. decorate the house. Let me buy the house stuff. Let me do this. So he comes back from his um, what he's been doing is cheating. So he's gone cheating. <laughs> he's not unvexed yet. Memories. Basically, he comes back after you know cheating. So I've done all this nice stuff, and then you feel like oh blah blah blah. But really, they so then they and even when you do the nice stuff, they're like you do need to do this. Why are you spend? Why are you doing this? Like yeah. you're doing too much. It's like but you're not giving me nothing back. I'm doing what I can to save this relationship, but you're making me feel like I'm the problem when you're the one that's You're cheating. really, yeah. You're doing by it's, fucking it's about like they do that. Yeah, it's like, when they, you know like when you do something bad, you're make, you're you're finding problems with someone else because to make me feel like, actually what I'm doing is not bad because that person is the problem. Yeah, so let what me, I'm doing. yeah. It kind of like makes them slightly feel better about what they're doing. Yeah, and it's yeah. not nice. It's not nice. We're going to you, yeah. How you know your man is toxic, yeah? I'm so sorry, so what? On my Insta, it was like that before you met me. Oh, yeah. You even followed it before you met me, you get me? And now... You was a fan, you was a stand, you was double clicking. You were liking that shit. You that thing, you get me? Now you've got me, all of a sudden it's... Why oh, you can't post pictures like that? I was doing that when you met me, sir. I mean, I feel like... I feel like... How do you feel like, man? I feel like, in this 2021, be the woman you want to be. Okay, that's true. Be Facts. the woman you want to be. I'm going to be the woman I want to be regardless because you don't pay my bills, you don't pay my rent, you don't pay anything, you don't pay my taxes, you don't even pay for my hair and my nails. No, my but phone what bill, you say, like, the phone bill that you're calling me on, 
Are you paying for the meals? No. What did that so, Nothing, for? just dates. And they still complain about that. Just about. Just about. Just about. So it's like guys that want to come and dictate how you do your job or, your or life. how you how your life was before you met. So what? Now that I've met you, I need to come and change this and that because you're insecure. Or I can't go with girls' holidays because you're insecure. <gasps> Let's talk about girls' holidays! Okay, so basically, someone, obviously, you know when people snap you, oh my god, Adiola, mm -hmm. Nella, mm -hmm. you get involved. Boys snap you, I'm guessing. Oh! I had that in Ibiza. <laughs> had that in Ibiza. I was a hoe. I was a slut. Um, I was your a cat. bitch. You're your too bitch. Because I took a picture of a fan. Guys, if you knew the drama that just taking a picture of a fan, because the, the fan had my phone, so he could have put his number in, Thank but he you. didn't put his number in. He wanted a picture. He wanted that a picture. One, it grinds me gears. Nella, it was. The, it, my, I can't say my holiday, pictures my holiday of boys. Like, you don't even understand that like, half of my following is boys. Oh my god, have, yeah. you ever wasted, have you ever wasted a holiday because you had a man back in the country and then you was just all doing on the phone? Oh my god. You oh. tell me I can't go on holiday with my girls. I'm gonna out. I'm going out. Yeah. No. I, I don't like stuff like that because. I think that's mad though. Girls, when, do you know, mm. let's, I, I just want to say something. When girls do girls' holiday, we are grinding on each other. I'm just making that very clear. We're yeah, grinding on each other. Oh, well, we ain't yeah. seen other And then we just walk up playing, no, girls just grind on each other at the club. We got a man's home. Fuck am I gonna grind? I, I need to grind this booty on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna be my friend as well. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Right. Right. Oh my oh. god, so many holidays I wasted mm. because I was being like, I would just be like, oh, I'm not gonna go out yeah. tonight. I used to oh. be that girl. <gasps> I'm toxic gonna... guys, yeah. yeah. The thing is, they won't, <laughs> no, the most toxic, toxic guys... one is like, they won't tell you not to go out, but they, they will switch up on you. Yeah, for going it's out. It's like you have to like prove yourself or yeah. be like, babe, you know, I don't want to do this, babe, you know. It's like, do you why? know what? Can I say one thing? One of the most toxic things that hurt me when I was in a past relationship was yeah. the fact that something that I have built for myself without you now is a problem. That wearing too much makeup, being a makeup influencer, is a problem because it's too much. But that too much is what's paying the wait, bills. Wait, wait, with, wait, like, but when I'm buying you gifts, you're accepting it with this makeup money. Or when I'm taking you on the trips. Oh, as a plus one. Oh, and you want It's not a problem. You want to be Actually, doing guys with everyone. <laughs> you know when we went to right. You know when I went to LA, yeah. I wish, I one of my biggest like, regrets was not just chilling in LA with you and letting whoever was on LA with you chill. But you learned from your mistakes. I learned from Now me. when we do girls, we will be doing my fucking Guys, I could, have been in a strip, I could have been in a strip club with these two. They were at the strip club yeah. while I was here doing domestics in LA. Yeah. They were in the strip club yeah, while I, I was doing domestics in LA. My... In the talking stage, I feel like you find out everything about me. Like you follow me on Instagram, see my Instagram stories, you see I'm with my friends all the time. Like, oh, I'm a very... I said I love it. Thank you. Oh my god, so I'm trying to be like my memory <laughs> But um, yeah, so then, so like, I feel like in the talking stage, you know my life, like, you yeah. know, I've got loads of friends this time, the Then now, um, we're in a relationship, you want to come and tell me that, say for example, there's seven days a week, and I spend two days with you, five days with my friends, yeah. My friends are going to be here before and after you fucking over because I don't trust them. So what, now you're trying to tell me that, oh yeah, you're always with your girls, you're always with your boys, you're always with this, you're always with that. Before, during, and after you, my friends are going to be here. Nella, Adriana, oh my goodness, everything you said spot on because one time I was in a situation where the friend that was telling me this guy is toxic, was making me think my friend was toxic. Mm. You know them friends that, those boyfriends that literally, they know they're toxic. I don't like your girlfriend. I don't like your girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. What well, if my friends clock you? you. Yeah. Those men that literally, I get it, there's some girls honestly just generally put their two pence in your relationship, so do watch out for that. But mm. generally guys, when they know that you've got a good friend that knows what your boyfriend's about, they will make you turn, do, yeah. do you know how oh. it goes? Do you know how it goes, Mario Mia? Yeah. So me. for example, Angela will come up to me and mm -hmm. be like, And I feel like he's done for you. And you go to your boyfriend and, and you'll be like, oh, I'm not gonna lie, I had a conversation with my girl and she was basically yeah. saying, This is that. This is that is facts, just facts and facts, yeah? yeah? And he's like, Oh, yeah, I never even lied to your mum. Yeah! She's this time, I never lied to your mum. Yeah. But I tolerated your mum. Did I tell you to cut off your mum? I would not... never do that. Yeah, that's not in my character. No, it's in yours because you're toxic. Very much. And your mum be calling the exes my name when I'm giving them my PR packages. My brand deals, but they're calling me your ex's name. <laughs> when you mm. find a real guy, you realize the shit you will never accept. Do you think some? Do you think some of my man's no. mom can call me his ex's name now? 
Think about it. <laughs> think about it. Hello, think about it. No, 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 no. Really poor about it. No, it was in my mind. We've some toxic guys and we didn't even realize in that moment they were Guys, some toxic stuff. But that is just like. What did it? I see no. I got something that's a bit mad. Like, basically, one time, yeah. There was a guy that he was my ex, my first ever boyfriend. I oh. loved him, love sweetheart. Okay, obviously, unfortunately, the first time we had an intimate relationship was the first time we linked up. Oh, it's fine, it happens, you know. Do you know what he said to me? What? He said one time we were talking, just talking about it. We we're talking about like life. He goes one time. He said, this is what he said. I'll never forget this. Yeah, he said. Next time you fuck a man, the first time you meet him. No, me next time he says. Like, maybe don't fuck. Me, maybe don't fuck a guy the next time you meet him because maybe you have more respect for you. That's the first time I had sex with this guy that I loved. Guys blah, will blah, be blah. doing one night stand that his boys will spud him the next day. But this is what you would be saying to your girl. A girl that really loved you. That but when, but when, but when did we not just do it together? Well, so at what age did your mum get married? Can we talk about that? Did, no, but did we have sex with she ourselves? Was fucking did you, know did what you I have mean? sex? Man, did you have sex by yourself? No, because you were telling me you love me. You were telling me everything, but because I did that, now you want to give me that. telling you he's the best pussy he's ever had, it's and he used to come quickly as well. So it's like. <laughs> that we've all been in a toxic relationship we've learned from it and we know what we'll never accept in a relationship don't let guys be toxic to you and don't let guys like emotionally blackmail you mm -hmm. make you feel like if you love me you wouldn't do this if you love me you wouldn't do that if he loved you he wouldn't make you change your life around just for him mm -hmm. I feel like loved you yeah you were in the beginning like, yeah and i feel like um a relationship is should be an addition to your life not a subtraction it shouldn't, it shouldn't be taken that. away from your life it should be adding love mm -hmm. adding happiness mm -hmm. adding memories yeah. and, mm -hmm. i didn't even just support and yeah because yeah. i think I, you know what there's a difference yeah. between um improving your partner and demi de de diminishing your partner diminishing yeah, yeah. That, because it's like that what i've learned is sometimes boys break you down to rebuild you to what they want you to which yeah. is passive, do what they say well, this is action so yeah all the time and yeah. when you just sat down because whilst they do what they want but you are there no mm -hmm. in this 2021 girls do what you want to do get your coin and don't let any guy feel like he can diminish Dictate you, your life you know yeah. box things at your life and make you um see your value yeah. as like you know the ones that you feel like i'm nothing about my man yeah, yeah. Like, anyone that's watching this video and in 2021 like, i feel like a lot of girls mm -hmm. young girls not us older girls because we've i think we there was a time where it clicked here yeah. yeah a lot of us older girls we've realized that you know sometimes when you're in love with someone you think I can't break up with them because I'm never gonna find better. That is a thing. You will you know. always find better. That is yeah. literally what's stopping better. you, I would say, 98% of girls. Yeah, you will always find better. And stick to my Every relationship thing. always gets better because your, your standards get better. And do you know what I've noticed? When I was in a shit situation, mm -hmm. and even though I have no one, I'm always happier having no one than being yeah, in that situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel like I can sleep knowing that, okay, as much as I'm upset with that, can't be There's no stress, there's, there's no, no anxiousness. Yeah, there's people no Writing your DM telling you what your boyfriend's doing. Literally, it's so bad. I always say one thing, yeah. Because when I pull up with me, me, someone's getting bitten, bitch. <laughs> that one. One thing I would say though, one thing I would honestly give advice is one thing I learned, and this happened to me twice, and I didn't understand it. But if from as soon as one, I know obviously sometimes girls add their two puts, mm. but there should never be a reason for another girl to tell me about you. Especially mm. if you haven't told me already. So if a girl's coming to me so confidently, especially imagine when you're you have an, um, a platform with as well vim. with bare yeah. followers and everything, someone actually comes to you with them and knowing that, bro, I'll tell you about your man. That's it. That That's man. It. I don't need that. You should respect me. I'm gonna tell you about your man and you're gonna listen. Nako bitte and do can be seen your man. Don't come to me as a woman. Yeah. What she said. <laughs> We're well, gonna leave this video here. Go uh, subscribe to my sister. Yes, yes and comment and also comment yeah. the most toxic thing a guy's ever done to you. Please subscribe to my sisters. Sisters, that thing. Sisters. Sister. Subscribe to my sisters. Yes. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like this video so if you wanna see more of us, okay? Peace. Bye. Bye. Baby, baby, LV.